let's say in 10 years from now, when we've got lots of agents and we have this whole infrastructure for agents to communicate and pay each other and so on, what does that mean for all of us? It's difficult to predict, but I would say in the short run, uh, every one of us will have our own agent and these agents will work on our behalf. So they're anchored in our identity. In the beginning, it's just about foundations. Like do these agents have identity? Do they have authentication? Can they really represent us? You know, what's the reputation? When, I, when my agent is using another agent, you know, can it trust? That's what's happening now uh, in the industry and also work at MIT. The next phase is Asian commerce. Just as if you move to a new city, you know, you would figure out, you know, what job you're going to get. You know, you start learning, you start working. You know, your skills are not that great. So you go to, you know, a school. So there'll be an agent schools or agents go to agent schools. Sometimes they need to be repaired. There'll be agent repairs. Uh, sometimes there'll be a risk of using an agent. So you'll have agent insurances, you know, and so on. So you have like a whole commerce and economy uh, around agents. But then the third phase is very interesting, which is you have very emergent behaviors uh, with, with agents. Just as once you move to the city, you don't just work and think about your livelihood, but you start creating social circles. You know, you have sports teams. You know, you have universities, justice and court. So you get all this emergent behavior when folks get together and just as agents get together.